State police are investigating a rare homicide in Owen County after a homeowner was shot and killed. Fox 59's Jesse Wells went to the scene to find out what police believe led up to that shooting. Indiana State Police say the deadly shooting here at this home remains an active investigation and detectives are still trying to figure out exactly what motivated the violence. Just before 8.15 Wednesday night, someone at this home along Highway 231, a few miles south of Cloverdale, called Owen County 911 and reported a possible home invasion. There was an exchange of gunfire uh, between the homeowners and a, and a suspect and maybe a second one. But that is that is really all we have right now. I don't want to speculate if, if it truly was a home invasion or if it's a targeted event, but it, it really could be anything. When sheriff's deputies arrived, they found the homeowner, Gallardo Garcia Salinas, shot in the yard outside the home. Despite efforts to provide first aid, the 39-year-old died on the scene. While witnesses claim the shooting stemmed from a home invasion, state police say the cause remains under investigation. Our investigators uh, have uh, disclosed that they, they don't feel like the public are in danger. But it, again, it's still a little early to speculate if it is a, home, a true home invasion, a random act, or if it is a target event. First Sergeant Michael Wood says it's believed that two suspects drove away in a gray or blue car. The make and model remain unknown. It's also not clear if the suspects were injured by the gunfire. While neighbors didn't want to go on camera, they did tell me the homeowners moved into the home just a couple of months ago. Those neighbors were not surprised the crime took place at that address, even though homicides in Owen County are highly unusual. It's a rural, tight-knit community, and uh, anything like this that happens is, is, is a tragic event. Um, just, you know, neighbors look out for the other, other neighbors, reach out to us if they see anything. Again, because no arrests have been made, anyone with information on the case is asked to contact the Indiana State Police at the Bloomington Post. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Battle of Fox 59 up.